hi I'm gonna take a quick trip around my yard starting with my patio I've been uh, enjoying succulents and cacti lately you might have noticed that I like to uh, pick up things and kind of repurpose them as you'll see this for example is an old sewing machine and a sewing machine base and a slice of lumber in the center and it makes a pretty nice arrangement then if I move over to the this is one succulent table I am um, I'm even sprouting some if it works and uh, I've been picking up all kinds of containers from what we it's similar to our Goodwill stores but they're called mega pockets or big pockets stuff a lot of which comes down from the United States this is another table with some real fun succulents some really big some really dainty and some growing so fast that this little tyke already has a bunch of babies surrounding it others take a little longer it seems but and I have a, several staghorns this is my biggest I do enjoy it more succulents succulents combined here's a little table two tables well I'll start at the end different ones this one I kind of like this these all grow a little bit slower they're in kind of a pretty glass this is a mixture of succulents and cacti that little cacti has sprouted three flowers this already this year I'll go down here some more succulents big ones little ones some old time cacti that I've had for three four years they're probably root bound because they're not growing much I like this little critter I just got it um, that beautiful pink flower puts off bright brilliant blue little blue tips little blue flowers right here they only last a couple days and then they fall off but here I took an old picnic basket and converted it into a flower pot in here here I took a baby what is that a bassinet but I didn't want a bunch of water so I got plants that don't need as much my orchid table they sure don't sprout blooms very often but there's some right here and more coming real soon but takes them forever this is a um, chocolate pestle or chocolate grinder big wooden very very old again I use the plant that doesn't require a lot of water because I don't want it to rot and my table of variety of things including a cow's head skeleton this little planter is just happy as can be um, it actually is a piece of art from a local friend artist that I've converted to a flower pot my roses are still blooming some of them where'd you go oh but they're getting kind of scraggly I'll still have roses but I need to cut them back the uh, grass I spotted and killed a grasshopper who was munching and getting all of the leaves so he's gone got some strawberries that plant that everybody wants a, a seedling from and I'll be happy to create some seedlings when the uh, pods get ready some geranium strawberries unknown named this has some weird flowers but they're all done right now this is that plant that so many people have given me ideas my local expert tells me it's a hallucinogenic that I need to be careful of that or enjoy it but no I'll be careful of it and the dogs they don't 
aren't attracted to it. Ah, let's see. Some more roses and geraniums, an unknown name. This is rather unusual. I won't, this is the only one I've seen. This one I just got two days ago because it was new to me with those fuzzy red drooping. A couple more little roses. Big one of those plants and this is the pod that has to dry out and that eventually I'll get seeds from and do some starting. And some cactus back in there. Up at the top, well you can't see it. Uh, here it is. This is a scrawny branch of a cotton cotton plant and there's a cotton bowl, several. They're just kind of sprawling out. I've already harvested a ton, but these are second growth. This little bugger is, I believe, the uh, national tree of Guatemala. But it dropped all of its leaves. I think it got too much water. And now, though, since I've let it dry out, covered it up at night, it's getting ready to burst. Whoops. <laughs> burst out with some more leaves so I'm keeping an eye on it I think it'll be cool here I have the um, Guatemala cherry tree I ate the first batch and it's just sending out new growth right now and a whole bunch of my citrus I got quite a few of them in morning glory climbing up the cedar and this is my um, hummingbird Excuse me, this is my butterfly, monarch, butterfly corner again. Uh, I've got three or four caterpillars right now. And I just keep, when the um, pods pop open, I just gather it up and drop it on the ground. Cover it a little bit and I get a whole bunch of new milkweed plants coming up. Kind of keep going because some of them get very tall. I need to cut them back. But anyway... Um, I don't go planting down below much. I have a few spider plants down there. My mango tree that didn't produce much this year like it did last year. But the areas here for birds and bees and butterfly. And uh, I do enjoy it. So it's kind of my tour around the outside. Oh, there's a uh, Christmas cactus. It's already started blooming doesn't know it's holidays real well. There's a repurposed little uh, bamboo container. I don't know if it was for water originally, but I turned it into a hanging, hanging planter. Anyway, it's kind of fun. Oh, these are some antiques. If Julie Wise sees this, I got this when I was about 11 years old from the Southern Michigan National Bank. You got it for opening an account. I haven't had the key <laughs> since about 1960. So there might be some really rare coins in there. And the old iron. Another philodendron. Some of you, those who grew up on a farm or paid attention know what these are. For those of you that didn't, I'll tell you, they're insulators glass for um, fence posts. This is the back side. What's that? Oh, that's a... Anyway, those are some more string. Oh, these are my um, water lilies. And uh, this container is a baby seat. Antique. You used to set the baby in there and put the food in there. The baby was all set with legs coming. But it makes a really fun, interesting conversation piece for my water lilies. Well this last one is a um, um, <laughs> well it's an eagle. It's actually a Bible rack. An old time Bible rack. My touch of religion I guess. Some more. This is my favorite milk can with the built in milk bottle rings around the bottom and my used tires that I've repurposed rather than just dump them. No good place to dump them. But anyway, it kind of goes on and on. Sometimes I say, stop me before I buy out my billfold. But 
I enjoy I enjoy them so I've got them have a good one everybody and uh, hello to you from down here in Guatemala